no ridge line, no problem. These tarp shelters can be done anywhere, anytime without the use of a ridge line. All you'll need, two trekking poles or sticks, stakes, or you can make your own, and a tarp. Behind me, I have a 9.5 by 9.5 meter tarp, which is my preferred size. You can get away with a smaller tarp for some of these configurations, but a 9.5 by 9.5 is the most versatile. The first shelter I'd like to show you is the tried and true A-frame. This is a sturdy shelter, provides excellent protection. All you'll need is your two trekking poles and six stakes, two with a length of paracord attached. To start with, you want to find the center tie out on the sides of your shelter and attach your trekking pole. To do this, I use a simple slip knot. And stick your pole in the loop. And pull tight. You do this to either side. Again, tie another slip knot. Pull on the loop. Pull tight. Next step, stand up your trekking pole and anchor off this side. Do the same to the other. Once you have your two ends anchored out, you want to go around and peg out the four corners. Once you've pegged out the four corners, you have a shelter. Very simple. All of five minutes to do. As you can see, this shelter provides a ton of room. You could easily sleep two people and your gear in here. Depending on the elements, you can either raise or lower your trekking pole. Lowering it down provides a lower profile design that keeps out more wind and rain. Raising it up allows you to have a little more headspace, restricts the space inside, but allows for better airflow. The next shelter I'd like to show you is the lean-to with a ground sheet. It's a very easy shelter to set up, provides excellent protection, and the ground sheet is a lifesaver. To start with, you want to find the center tie out on the sides again, but this time you'd want to stake them down. opposite of the other tie out, you want to pull tight and stake down. Now for the front two corners, you want to take your trekking poles and attach them. Again, using just a slip knot. Tie your knot. Trekking pole in the loop. Full tight. Do this to both sides. Now you want to stand up your trekking pole, angle out away from your tarp, and anchor it. and same to the other side. Stand it up, angle out away from your tarp, and anchor it. The reason for your angle out on your guy line is to provide tension in your tarp, like this isn't going anywhere. Now you come around to the back of your shelter and you tuck this all underneath.
Some tarps have two or three tie outs here at the back. Mine only has two. You stake these down as well. Now you come around to the front again. You pull all the loose material forward. And provides you with an excellent ground sheet. As you can see, the shelter provides you great coverage above. It's only covered on the one side, so wind and rain can be an issue with this one. This is my fair weather shelter, one of my go-tos. Simple, effective, loads of space for me and my gear, and the ground sheet is amazing. The only downfall to this shelter is the limited amount of headspace you get. But overall, it's really effective. The next shelter I'd like to cover is a modified lean-to with the ground sheet. This one's a little more stealthy, a little more sleek in design. It's a little more lower profile, which provides a little extra protection. For this configuration, I like to start with my tarp folded in half and then move to the back. You find your second tie out, one in from the side, one in from the side, and stake it out. Again, you find your second tie out in from the side, and this is where you will attach your trekking pole. Tie your trusty slip knot. Trek and pull in, pull tight. Now you are ready to stand your structure up. Just like the lean-to, you want to stand your trekking pole up and anchor it off on an angle. You also want to pull straight back from that back stake. Once you have your trekking poles anchored and tension on the tarp, you want to go to your corner tie out, go one in, pull on an angle off the back stake and stake this down. Same to your corner. Pull on an angle, stake it down. And tuck the corner in. Now you do the same to this side. Pull off on an angle from that back stake. Take it down. Go on an angle this way from that stake. Stake it down. Now you want to come to the inside, pull your ground sheet out. And there you have it, a more enclosed shelter. Just like the lean-to, lower profile, but with sides.
This is an excellent shelter for wind and rain. Shy of driving rain coming at you, you're not going to get wet. Provides a lot less headroom than the Lean 2 Shelter or the A-Frame. But it's very versatile, very low slung, very stealthy, and provides enough room for you and your gear. Overall, an excellent shelter. A little more setup time than the other two, but if you need the protection, well worth the extra few minutes. The next configuration is the tarp tent. This is the most technical, takes the longest to set up, but provides the most protection from the elements. You start with the back end of this shelter, two stakes on each side. From the corner, you go one tie out in, stake it down. Go kitty corner, one tie out in, pull tight off that one, and stake it down. Now you go to the other side, do the exact same thing. Pull straight off that one. Stake it. Second one in. Keep it all nice and tight. Under off. Stake it in. Now you come to your corners that you just staked out and tuck them under. Now you take two stakes, go to your corner, go about six inches in from the second tie out and stake it down. Same on the other side. Second tie out, about six inches in, stake it out. Now you want to take your trekking pole, add a little cushioning to the top. I'm just using my buff for this. Crawl inside and stick this in the center. Now you want to take a piece of paracord from the next tie out up from your stake. Tight. I use a slip knot for this as well. Tie it on there and you want to string this back to your back stake. I wrap this around here and I do a taut line hitch. To do that you do one wrap, two wraps in the loop, one wrap in behind, tighten that up. And this gives you a fully adjustable knot. Again, you go to the second tie out in from your stake, trusty slip knot, go to your back stake, around, wrap once, wrap twice, once in front. Another taut line hitch. Pull it tight. So the very last step, you go to this tie out in the center of your door, tie a trusty slip knot, and you anchor this to a tree, and you stake it into the ground. In my case, I'm just tying it to my car handle door.
as you can see, this is fully enclosed. The door's a little small, but it provides you enough access to get in. This shelter provides you the most protection from the elements, from wind, rain, snow, you name it. It's very stable on the outside, provides decent room. You can get in here with your gear. The door's a little small, you gotta crawl in, but if you need the protection, it's worth it. This one does take the most amount of time to set up. I totally advise practicing this in your backyard as you wouldn't wanna get out to the bush and realize you don't know how to set this up. It took me some practice and I still don't have it perfect but it's a solid shelter. Last but not least, the plow point shelter. This is by far my favorite. It's my go-to. I've used this in multiple videos so far. It's just easy and comfortable. For this shelter, you wanna to go to the corner tie out. Tie a trusty slip knot in your paracord. Take it to the tree. And tie it off. Next you want to take the opposite corner, pull straight back from the tree and anchor it. Next, go to the side, pull tight, and anchor. Do the same for this side. Pull it out nice and tight. and stake it down. As you can see, that took seconds. Literally two minute shelter. This shelter provides excellent coverage from the rain. If the wind changes directions on you, you pull up three stakes, pivot it around the tree, stake it down again, you're covered. No ground sheet. But that's okay, I pack one with me for the most part. But this is by far the easiest and the most reliable shelter there is. I love this thing. I use it more often than not. Loads of space, easily two people in their gear inside this. It's just a good shelter all around. So as you can see, no ridge line, no problem. These five tarp shelters will get you through any situation you find yourself in. The one takes a little bit of work. The other four are pretty straightforward and easy to do. I highly suggest you practice these in your backyard before taking them out into the wilderness. They can fail and they're not necessarily easy to set up. They do take some practice. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you found that informative. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. I will get back to you. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw. I got lots more content coming. Have a good day, everybody.